This video explains how to draw a ggplot2 plot with a factor on the x-axis using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and for this example we first need to create a data frame as you can see in lines 2 to 3 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new data set is appearing at the top right which is called data and we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 4 of the code and then you can see that our data frame contains 5 rows and the two columns group and value and you also have to note that the group column has the factor class. So let's assume that we want to draw a ggplot2 plot where this factor is on the x-axis. Then we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And after running this line of code we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot and gonline. So in this case we are going to draw a line plot. And then within the ggplot function we need to specify our data set. And within the aesthetics of the ggplot function, we need to specify the x value to be equal to our factor column. So in this case, our factor column is called group. And then we also need to specify the y argument to be equal to our values column. And we also need to set the group argument to be equal to 1. So if you run lines 9 to 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a line plot is created and as you can see on the x-axis of this plot the factor levels of our factor column are shown. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.